here I'm going to be introducing events, a new feature in Face Effect Studio 2009. They're essentially referenced animations. So I'm going to create a new animation and I'm going to say do not generate phonemes. This isn't the type of animation that comes from an audio file. I'm going to be specifying everything manually, like manually adding this curve called blink. If I select the curve and then add some keys by hitting the insert key and clicking in the curve editor, I'm going to create a blink curve inside of my blink event. And then I'm going to be adding this blink animation inside of the auto workspace animation that we created before. And I'm going to do that by going to the events tab and adding an event. And I'm going to be moving the event out to about uh, one second. And then I can drag the tab down and take a look at the curve editor to see what this blink event is doing. And you'll see this is the portion of the blink event that it's uh, my event is is influencing and this part of the blink curve is from the auto workspace animation. So I'm going to delete the keys that are in the auto workspace animations blink curve so that the only thing driving the blink curve is my event. And you can see that I can move my event in time and the curve will update. And also the properties for the selected event will also update as I move. Now I can scale this a blink event uh, in time, and so I can have a long blink animation. Uh, and I can also change the magnitude scale of the blink animation. So now it's kind of a half blink. It's a very long half blink that goes over the course of a second. Uh, the other important part of events is the uh, randomness that you can cause. Now you can say, I want this blink to happen sometime between the beginning start time and an ending start time of let's say four seconds. So now every time I create a take of this animation it's the blink event is going to choose a different time in between those two start and end times uh, to occur. And so I can do the same thing with duration scale and magnitude scale by providing a lower bounds and an upper bounds. Um, you can do the same thing actually with blend in and blend out uh, from the command line but it's not available from the GUI. And this probability is actually the probability that the blink event will actually fire. So now sometimes when I hit the take button there will be no blink event uh, because the probability uh, decided that uh, this time around uh, there will be no event. And so that's the, the basics, the foundations that uh, events uh, of events and uh, we're going to be talking about events a little bit more uh, especially in the context of analysis actors later.